Hello, my beautiful babies, baby boys. Welcome back to Pokemon Floor Sky. Uh, that was the most weird intro I've ever done. But anyway, we're back to Floor Sky. Last episode, we caught Latius in the hopes of using her powers to get through the challenge area, apparently. And we actually have to go ahead and pick her up because that is the only way that we can do things because I don't know I'm pretty sure we're supposed to have her in our body actually to be able to remove the mist that was not allowing us to go across the place so we're gonna go ahead and put Latius on our party here and um, we might actually need Ludicolo as well because I'm not sure if there's gonna be any places to surf um, I think Clap does not have any HM so we're just gonna go ahead and drop him off for this episode and uh, bring along Khaleesi the beautiful Latius that I have nicknamed Khaleesi because that's a uh, Game of Thrones reference and, and that's a good show that you should watch if you haven't watched it. Also, viewer discretion is advised because there's lots of boobs in it and other things. It's penises. It's disgusting. Anyway, um, we're going to flash the ticket. That was not... I didn't expect that to happen. Kind of coincidental that, you know, we're talking about boobs and, and peepees and then said flash the ticket, but hey! We're going back to the challenge island, and uh, with Latius in hand, we should be able to actually get in the forest here. Now, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing in the forest, but you know what? This is the next area we're visiting, so that's just what we're doing. And uh, what item is he holding? Is it like a dew, the, the dew orb thing? Soul dew, that one, that's, that's what it's called. It is an orb, though. I think it's spherical shaped, at least the art for it, so... Anyway, uh, Repel War's off, I'm fine with that, I don't know what Pokemon are in here, but we're fine out right now, it's a level 43 Gloom, so nothing that we're really gonna use, let's go ahead and use a Repel, and whoa, we got to double battle coming up, that's awesome, because uh, that's what we need actually. We're actually probably really gonna need to do some training, because I know that uh, some people have told me that there's a post-post game already, and the Elite Four Round 2 is super duper hard, so... We're definitely going to need all the training we can get here, and this Vile Plume is totally going to help us out, especially because now we're poisoned, or not poisoned, confused, so we can't even get off Fire Blast, which is just great. Alright, well, uh, now we have an Absol. Actually, I'm going to go for Fire Blast on Vile Plume and just continue headbutting the other one. Whoa, there we go. Anyway, um, a few things I want to talk about today, because there's going to be a few things going on in the next few days, I, I guess, I don't know. Um, I am actually going back to Orlando sometime, I think, tomorrow. What is this? What are the- what is this? These li- Lianas? Or- what? I don't know what those are. I'm guessing we need some sort of weird HM to get through there. It's not cut, though, because I'm pretty sure- Actually, we might need cut. Hmm. I don't- I'm not sure, actually, what we need there, but... We'll figure it out. Maybe it was cut, and I just didn't think- or don't have it somehow, but... Anyway, um, I'm actually going back to Orlando, uh, tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to record or pre-record as much Naranja as I can. So there may not be a Flora Sky video for a little bit, um, but that is because I'm gonna attempt to finish off Naranja, uh, while I'm there. So basically I'm gonna attempt to record the rest of Naranja today, and then upload it while I'm there. Um, I also have a couple of random videos that I guess I should edit. Um, there was also the Minecraft Alpha livestream, so I'm wondering maybe I'll upload that on this channel here. Even though it's a two-hour video, I'm sure a lot of people uh, weren't there for the livestream may have missed that. I did uh, basically a Minecraft Alpha livestream with uh, Yoshi to Mario and Jethro Tex, or Dylan and Hugh, as most people that know them on this channel know them. But, um, yeah, I might upload that. We basically played Minecraft Alpha for two hours, and it was pretty fun, so I may end up uploading that here. Had some good times uh, with twitch.tv and and yeah so if you guys would like to see that go ahead and leave a comment on this video if you'd like to see that if not you can actually find it on my twitch um which if you don't know you can click my little banner and that actually takes you over to my twitch.tv slash page which is not munching orange because i don't know the, the normal munching orange was either taken or i somehow deleted the account which really sucks because i don't have the email associated with it anymore so i can't get it back unless twitch can help me out with that which would be awesome, but I'm not sure if they can. Anyway, um, basically what I'm saying is that I will attempt to, in the next, you know, this weekend basically, because I'm probably going to be coming back around, I don't know, Sunday or Monday or something, so. During this time, um, uh, there will be Naranja, maybe not that many Ash Grays, or not Ash Gray, that was done over, over with. Um, this game, Floor Sky, that I keep confusing, so. 
Hopefully today we get through this forest and maybe find something amazing because that will be the last thing you will see in your lives. Not really, but... That is basically what I wanted to update you guys on. I've been meaning to do sort of an actual update video, like, you know, those, those real-life vlog kind of videos that I usually do every once in a while. Just letting you guys know what is going on with playthroughs and stuff, but I don't know why I've just not done it. Um, I've either just been lazy or just haven't... I don't know. I have a weird schedule right now, is what I'm trying to say, and I know I mention it a lot, but it does conflict a little bit with making these vloggy videos. Hey, look, it's Grimly! Or Gr Grimsley? I guess he's Gima here, but it's definitely Grimsley. Huh? Is that Moe's? I'm looking for some dark Pokemon here. My work is almost finished. The exit is right there. This path will lead you to Area R. I have a rest house there. I hope you can visit it. See you later! Alright, Grimsley. You and your beautiful hair. Just, just go. I don't care about you. Here we are, the R area. This actually reminds me a little bit of, uh, Pokemon Platinum? There's the, um, yeah, this actually is pretty much the same thing, isn't it? It's like, I forgot what it was called in Platinum, though. How they had, the post-game of Platinum was like this challenge sort of area thing, where they had the different areas, like the battle area, the fight area, and then here I guess they just call them by letters, because that is the way that they roll in Flora Sky. They just name their routes and areas after letters, and we were just in Route A, I think, or Area A, but now we're in Area R, which, the beginning of a new beginning, or, yeah. There are four areas in the Challenge Islands, this is the first one. In these areas, you can only fly to the R area. Wait, what? Huh. Wait, it's the area of a new beginning, so I guess you can fly to this area. Let's, let's test that out with Mr. Ruffles. Um, okay, I guess we can, that's cool. Because we somehow went north, but ended up south. I don't know, maybe this is like a giant globe somehow, and yeah, we, we actually, we were going north, but we actually ended up south, because we were here, I'm pretty sure. We were in the Q area to begin with, and now, or no, we were in the A area. What? I don't even know anymore, guys. This is confusing, so let's just explore this Q area. Here is actually Gima's rest house. Of course, it's the biggest one of them all. Oh, look, a little Zorua. Looks like a shiny for some reason, because it's not like gray, it's like bluish. That's weird. Anyway, welcome, Moe's! After the Pokemon League, have you heard of new adventures? In these islands, there are many obstacles that you can use the hidden machine to pass. You'll need some applications for a special machine. I'll give you the machine. Hey, the S machine! I wonder if that's what we have to use to, you know, go through the li lianas? Lianas? I don't know what those are pronounced like, but... If you want to use it, you'll have to obtain the applications from some people and install them on the machine. Alright, you should visit here when you have free time. I will be sure to do that, Gima. You and your beautiful boxy house. Your house is full of boxy. Not boxy the internet girl, but, you know, your house is full of boxes, literally, so. Thank you for the wonderful S machine. I'm guessing this is sort of like HMs, but more like a Poke app, I guess, where you get... I don't know how it works, to be honest, but we'll figure it out. I'm sure that that is how we get through those vines, though. So let's talk to Mr. Fisherman over here. Maybe he'll give us... Yep, he's gonna give us a wonderful new rod. Because our old rod was just getting way too old and uh, moldy and also just doesn't, doesn't work anymore, man. It don't work, mama. I gotta get a new rod. Hey, look, two men standing in our way. I'm only authorized people here at pass. Don't even know what I just said, but apparently only some people are authorized to pass. So here we are in Q Path, where I don't even know, but look at that. We did meet Surf, or at least now we do, even though there was a Pokemon Center, but... Hello, Mr. Scraggy. I don't really care about you. We're gonna pick up some Kelpsy berries. At least they don't look like flamingos. That looks pretty weird, though. It's like a flower with a checkered blue in the middle. It's weird. All right. Well, let's just surf it up with Ludicolo, my buddy. And we got a fisherman. Oh, look at that. Our hair is somehow on that tree. That's cool with me. Be patient because fishing is something. Crawdont. That is something that you can't handle. So the wonderful. K Karuni will have to thunderbolt that away, I guess. That's his only Pokemon. That's really cool. You are definitely a pro fisherman, only catching a giant crab. Or maybe he caught it as a as a corefish, and that's his only Pokemon. It's just been that one corefish. That seems to be how like most of the anime characters are. It's like they catch one Pokemon, they love it so much, and then that's that's it. That's the only Pokemon they have. So, of course, Ash having his Pikachu just beats them all up because Pikachu's like level 700 by now having gone through all so many regions and other assortment of obstacles like we have, you know, like this camera up. That was a giant obstacle right there. Of course, Surf just took that out in one hit, but 
That's okay. Nothing's biting. I could use a break. Well, your break is coming, buddy. Don't worry. This will be your one big break. Your break is coming. It is com coming soon. Okay. Um, it's, uh, someone died there, but here's your break. It's coming now. Right here. Giga draining your Huntail. Huntail's such a weird Pokemon. Huntail and Gorbis. Like, I don't know. I guess they're just too so gimmicky. It's, I mean, they're not gimmicky, but they just seem it seems so weird to me. Like, wh how would you even ever use one? Because you get Clam Pearl really late in the game. Like, by that time, you're already surfing, pretty much. So, like, you're surfing and diving. So, that's two opportunities to already have, like, a water type. So, it's like you're never going to end up using, a, a like, a Clam Pearl. I wonder if there's, like, a Pokemon hack that has a Clam Pearl early on that you can actually evolve. Watch this hack be the one, and I never even thought of it. Because I would love to use, like, a Clam Pearl once, or... I mean, I would probably pick Gorbis, because I'm not a huge fan of the pink dolphin. Or not Gorbis, Huntail. I'd pick Huntail, because it looks cooler, and... I don't know, I just w have always wanted to use a Clam Pearl, and there's never really an opportunity to do that, really. So, hey, thank you, young sir. You tell me the path is boring, and then you want to battle me. Hey, it's this guy. I forgot what his name was. I don't... I mean the actual black and white trainer, not this guy, because this guy's name is clearly Daniel, I guess. Cool. I may enter a contest to get to my inspiration back. Here is my reward. Please take it. The scope lens. That's... Thank you. Daniel, you you gave me scope lens. I will wear them and scope out the competition. Something, something like that. I forgot what the actual trainer's name is, though. The gym leader, because... I don't know. I guess I haven't played black and white in a while. But I'm going to close combat you, Kleckleon. I probably should have done that in the first place, because then it would have been normal type, and you would have died in one hit. But I didn't think of it at the time. And now we're in the queue area. That actually wasn't that long. And we've got uh, the music from... Uh, I'm not sure from where, because I forgot, but I'm sure that I can think of it if you give me just a sec. Oh boy, the challenge factory. It's so eventful and it makes me feel elated. Have you obtained some quests there? No, I have not. I haven't even gone there yet. I think he was talking about the Festa Zone. What is the music from? What is this mu music? I know this music, but I can't think of it. And apparently, this is the challenge factory. I don't know what this is. I mean, clearly it's a factory, but, I mean, I don't know what we do in the challenge factory. Hey, Mr. April! Alright. Huh. He requires a rare ticket. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so Mr. April is, I guess, back. He was the wonderful Scottish sailor that we met before that was with our mother, by the way, having a wonderful time with her. And I guess if we have a rare ticket, we might be able to, uh, get a Whalmer doll. Alright. Thank you. I'm gonna put this to good use, put it in my secret base that I don't have because I don't think those are even in this game, but thank you for the wonderful whale, Merdal. I'm actually gonna heal up and BRB. And so as we come back, uh, I guess we have two places to explore. We have this challenge area, or challenge factory actually, which I'm not sure exactly what it is. So let's go and figure it out. Pokemon League music, that's great. I guess this might be like, is this like the trainer tower or what? what is this? Huh. There's no records, of course. What the hell? What? Why? Why? Why do you do some missions or quests? Talk to those men to receive some task. That... Shadow Triad, man. Why do you have that sprite? I mean, that they're clearly trying to put a black and white sprite into this, but it just doesn't fit in. Look at him. He's like literally just... He's like planking against the desk. Like, what are you doing, man? Welcome, I can give you some missions. Would you like to see what I've got? Yes! Your first mission, there is a girl was lost in the gloomish forest. You need to find and bring her back. Note, you'll need a lawnmower app for the S-Machine to do this mission. I guess an old man in Huntley Village may have it. Mission 1, Seeking for the Lost Girl. Alright, so I guess we're gonna be doing some missions. That's great, so what do you do? Huh, I guess he just tells you what they do. So, quest points you can exchange for the exclusive tickets. Alright, that's... Sounds pretty cool. I'm pretty sure the tickets are going to be for catching some certain rare legendaries, but as we saw there, we need the lawnmower, so it looks like we're going to have to call our good friend Juan Juan Diaz or Juan Rodriguez or something like that, and uh, he's going to mow the lawn for us. We're going to pay him a hefty price for that. Um, I'm being pretty stereotypical here, but that's fine with me. Hey, Mr. April, how are you? May I see your ticket? We flashed him once again. That is all you need. And with that, we can go to the Battle Frontier in Teya City. So, I guess we don't have any of the rare tickets just yet. But, we do have the ability to get the lawnmower. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. And, you know what? Let's try out one mission. I'm going to make this video a little bit longer because 
I know that I've only been uploading once a day, guys, so I'm gonna make these videos hopefully a bit longer for you guys. Where the hell is Honey Village? I have no idea where Honey Village is. This is very confusing. Honey Village! Honey Village! That doesn't seem to be anywhere to be found. Surin's Town, Plate Picks, the Pokemon League. I'm, I'm pretty sure Honey Village is, isn't like one of these dots, which would kind of suck. Um, Silver Town, Aqua Town. Alright. There it is! Look at that, next to Golden City. So, we're gonna have to uh, go there somehow. I, I think we can fly, or not fly, but we can sail to Golden City somehow. Not sure exactly, but... Yeah, I guess, I don't know, the Challenge Factory looks like a pretty cool idea, actually, so let's hope that we can somehow go to Golden City here. Yep, number two is Golden City, board the ferry, and away we go! So, I think that will actually wrap up this video, because we haven't even explored Golden City yet, and Honey Village is apparently to the right of this. Have we even ever been to Golden, to Honey City, Honey Village? I feel like we have, and somehow it's just glitched, but... Anyway, that is going to wrap up this episode. I'm not sure how long it was because I forgot to set up the timer again as I'm having to use Fraps and not Camtasia anymore because it doesn't work for some reason. So, yeah, thank you all for watching this marvelous episode and uh, maybe I'll record one more, but I don't know. As I said, I'm going to Orlando. So, thank you for watching and see you guys next time.